Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name's Gabby. And my name's Mike. And today we're filming another Hyundai. It's Thursday, which is one of our two Hyundai days of the week. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can always find me and Mike doing a Hyundai car. Yes. Today's car is... A 2023 Hyundai Tucson Urban Edition. Urban. So what does urban mean? What have you noticed about the urban trim? Well, I noticed that, um, first of all, you get these 18-inch... 19s. Uh, 19, oh, 19 <laughs> sorry. That just... There we go. I think, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so let's see. A 19-inch matte black rims. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, that's exclusive to the urban model. Yep. And I've also noticed that there's a lot of kind of blacked out accents on this vehicle. So if you like a more sleek, dark look, oh my okay, goodness. So this isn't working here, <laughs> sorry guys. Sorry, camera technical difficulties, we're gonna fix that. Okay, perfect, this should be better now. All right, and as always, we're gonna start off our lives how we usually do. So we do these videos for three reasons. Number one, you may have a Kia or a Hyundai vehicle and you want to know more about the car you have. We do tons of videos, not just walk arounds, but also showing how to get into your car with a dead key fob, how to get your wipers in the wiper changing position. <laughs> Number two. If you are in the market for a vehicle, we definitely love for you to add a Kia or a Hyundai to your selector list. And number three, we are a real dealership. So I'm filming at Brantford Kia. We also have Brantford Hyundai and Owen Sound Hyundai. Either of those three vehicle, vehicles, dealerships will help you out with all your car shopping needs. And we would want you to consider us. Of course, if you're gonna buy a Kia or a Hyundai in Ontario, why not buy from us? Buy it from us. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to join a live if you are watching in the future and you're watching this as a regular posted video. So we go live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day of the week. So every weekday, Monday through Friday. Of course, there's some days we can't make it and we will let you know. If you wanna to go to the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube, it should look a little something like this. If we are going live that day, you'll see whatever video we're doing and then it should say upcoming. You can refresh that video at 2 p.m. and that upcoming is gonna turn into a red live. So if I click that, you can join our video. On the right side of the video, you'll notice that there is a chat box. So that is our live chat. That's where we'll see our questions and comments roll in. At the end of these videos, or not at the end, but when we're done our exterior and interior walk around, we'll always circle back to the screen and read your comments if we missed it during the walk around. So with that being said, let me just skip this ad because it was for another car company. <laughs> mm -mm. No, 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 no. And we'll start our walk around. So let's take Perfect. a look. This is the 2023 Hyundai Tucson Urban. So this is the very top of the line model for the fully gasoline. Any model above this is either gonna be a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid. So on the exterior, as I mentioned, it's very blacked out and very rugged looking. It looks like a true sporty SUV, sports utility vehicle. It puts the sport in that. So looking at the grill, you have this dark chrome garnish. And just hold on a second. Pay attention over here. It looks like just your regular, you know, grill design, right? Wrong. I'll just need a minute. <laughs> Sorry to keep you guys in suspense, but those are your beautiful LED daytime running lights and headlight unit. So you can see Hyundai did an amazing job in <laughs> integrating the lights into the grill. It looks like just a regular trim piece until it's lit up. It looks beautiful. You can definitely tell when there's a Tucson behind you at night or Santa Cruz, because Santa Cruz is a very similar grill. Also in this grill, you can't really see it, but there is a front sensor. So what this does is, this vehicle has smart cruise control. It's gonna pick up if the vehicle ahead of you is slowing down all the way to a complete stop and will take you to a stop. It'll also get you moving again. And it also has collision avoidance. So forward collision avoidance, someone pulls in front of you, slams on the brakes, this car will alert you. If you fail to react, the car can break for you, avoiding a collision. Very smart car, very safe car. <laughs> all right, we'll come around to the side. We have this dark kind of matte black garnishing around your wheel well, and you have those beautiful 19 inch matte black alloy wheels exclusive to this model. So no other Tucson has those wheels or these kind of exterior components. But all the Tucsons do have this parametric design in the doors. So you may notice it might look like, kind of like origami, a lot of people say, the folding lines of the vehicle. It makes the car look so sharp, so so sleek, very, you know, streamlined, sophisticated. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't speak. So you noticed we had LEDs in the front for your headlights and daytime running lights. That doesn't stop there. You also have LEDs for your tail lights. Really cool tail light design, I will say. So I'll have my come around to this side over here. And you got these cool black details along the tail light design. Very, very nice. Your hazards and your reverse lights are on the bottom. 
We have our backup camera right over there. More kind of rugged features in your rear bumper. So much like the front bumper, it carries over to the back. The car doesn't look like it's unfinished. They put all the designs in the front and left the back. It's all throughout. So we'll open this up. You have your latch right over there. This is a manual tailgate. Under the floorboard, we do have, let's see, spare tire. And you can also drop this floorboard down just to sit on that rail there for an extra, I would say, two inches of cargo space. We have one of our seats more reclined and then the other more upright. However, if you want to quickly fold down these seats, there's two latches. So one on the left side, one on the right for a 60-40 split to knock your seats down. And then you have a ton of cargo space. So this is a five-seater vehicle. If you just have two passengers, it's essentially a pickup truck. Santa Cruz, who needs one? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm kidding. Santa Cruz is still great. <laughs> I do want to mention that we are wearing boots today, guys. Yes. So many commented, but we had um, <laughs> quite the... Uh, the winter yes. wonderland that happened. I mean, it, it's all plowed now, but. Yeah, yesterday was horrendous. Tons of snow, tons of ice, and our lot is still looking horrible. So our general manager, Tim, was here at 3 a.m. today plowing snow, and then we had to move cars around. So yeah, boots were needed today yes. for sure. The second we go outside, it's like, whoa, <laughs> slip hazard. <laughs> all right, let's come around to the side and we'll hop in the vehicle. Perfect. Don't, don't, don't yeah. pay attention to our boots though. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Answer for Tim, yes, it does come in in a hybrid yes. uh, model. For hybrid sure. and plug-in hybrid. And plug-in hybrid. Before I hop in, I'll have Mike quickly show the door and the seat. So we have this beautiful, whenever I film a Tucson, I always like to point out the lines on the doors completely seamlessly blend in with the vents on the dash. So you can see it translate. Once we have our doors closed, you'll really see it kind of continue on. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, smooth design. Your driver's seat is powered, so you have your height adjustment, your rear kind of recline adjustment, and then you do have lumbar support. These seats are leather seating surfaces, heated, and with a heated steering wheel. I'm gonna hop in. All right, over here you have your brightness adjuster, so you can change the brightness of your screen quickly on the go. Then you also have your traction control. I always like pointing out Kia's, um, or not Kia's, Hyundai's uh, light stock. So it has this really cool, almost a, Similar to the folds on the body panel of the vehicle, very crisscrossy, rugged, you know, origami type de design. <laughs> yeah. Steering wheel, I mentioned this on our Santa Cruz video. I want to steal the steering wheel and put it in my car. Yeah. I love Sounds the extra cool. spokes right over here. Driving, there's so many different hand positions you can have. Best part about this steering wheel is it's fully heated, not this little spoke here. So however you like to drive, your hands will be nice and warm, meaning you don't have to wear gloves in your car which also means you can touch your screens without taking your gloves off whenever you want to do something. It's very cozy. <laughs> On the left side of the steering wheel, we have all our Bluetooth controls. So there's your talk button. You can do commands with your phone. Mode, which will cycle between your different media modes, FM, AM, Sirius XM. Volume, that's how you can seek or change the channel, play your next song. A phone to answer your phone calls, and then a star button, which you can program to be whatever you'd like. You can have that take you to your Android Auto, to your Bluetooth audio, or I have mine as reject call. So that way if someone's calling me and I'm not feeling that conversation today. <laughs> All right, in the center we have our horn, of course. Beautiful Hyundai logo, so it's in our beautiful chrome with this uh, kind of satin chrome around. On the right side is going to be your driver assistance. So this notepad is going to change what your gauge shows. So pay attention to the center of our cluster there. You can have your speedometer displayed, your drive info, revealing your fuel efficiency. We had this car idling for a bit before it came in, so it looks horrible, but it's not that bad. Our GPS, or our navigation, I should say. Tire pressure, and then your all-wheel drive torque distribution. So a lot of different displays you can have shown, so you can see whatever you'd like as you're driving. This is your button to turn on your cruise control. Set your speed, pause it, or restart. And then this is gonna be your following distance. I did mention earlier that it has that advanced smart cruise control. That's how you're going to set that. And then we have our steering assistance. So this vehicle is equipped with a camera right behind this mirror here. So it's pointed towards the road and it's going to monitor the lanes ahead of you. If you start to veer to the left or the right, it will pull you back in. It doesn't feel very much like a ping pong though. So that's not to be confused with lane keep assist. Lane keep assist will be kind of ping pongy. I always turn that off. This will actually steer for you and kind of take the curve of the road. So if you're doing a long drive on the highway, Mike drives very, very far to get to work. So how far is your drive? 130 kilometers. Yeah, there, so he, and then you're a big back. fan of this, right? Yes, yes. It's, I have it on all the time. Yeah, so for driver fatigue, of course, it's not a true autopilot, but when you have that and your cruise control set together, the car is doing most of the work, but make sure you pay attention to the road, of course. I'll have Mike join me on the other side, and we'll take a look at everything else. All right.
right. So we're trying this new, I guess, shot where Mike sits in the back. We think it might be a better view of everything. I definitely want to point out the design I mentioned earlier. So pay attention to the lines on the doors, how they meet with the vents. Now that our doors are closed, you can see the whole layout. I think it looks beautiful. All right, in the center here, we have a 10 and a quarter inch display, full touchscreen, full, you know, digital. <laughs> we got our time, our navigation is shown over there. So that's actually where we are in Brantford. And then it would also show what media you're listening to. Of course, right now our media is off. Slide over to the right and we have our map, which I can open up and it'll just show us our GPS, our navigation. You can set addresses there. And the best part is it doesn't use any da data from your phone. So if you're lost and there's no service, you can use that. <laughs> Navigation menu, phone, you can connect your phone to this vehicle via Bluetooth. There's also Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now I will mention it's not wireless, so to use it, you will have to plug your phone into this USB over here. And then I'll walk you through your setup. It is so seamless and it works so good on this, um, on this screen layout. This is the same screen I have in my car and I love it. All right, climate, you can access your climate there, but let's get into setup and vehicle because that's where you can change all your driver assistance features, which this vehicle is loaded with. So under vehicle, forward safety, I mentioned this car does have forward collision avoidance. Active assist will actually break for you if it senses the risk of a collision. Warning will just give you the warning or you can turn it off completely. Of course, that's something we definitely recommend leaving on. However, it is totally up to you. And all these features can always be changed again. So if you turn it off once, you're not stuck with that forever. You can always turn it back on later. Steering assistance, blind spot. So that's something I should have shown when we did our exterior walk around. But in our camera, or not camera, in our mirror, you can see that little icon over there. That will light up when there is a vehicle in your blind spot. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, no. but we have a little hazard icon. Let's try, right there. Right there. And that will light up if there's a vehicle either on your left or right side. And then if I hit my turn signal, it will actually beep at me saying, don't turn, there's a car over there. If I still try, the car will pull me right back into my lane with opposing brake force. So mitigating a collision on the side as well. For your parking safety, we do have rear cross traffic safety. That's gonna let you know if there's a vehicle coming up from behind. So imagine you're in a parking spot and there's two cars on each side. It might be hard to see someone coming behind you. This will let you know. All right, I should also probably show our parking camera. So there is a button here that you can press just to view your camera while you're stopped. As soon as you throw your car into reverse though, this will come up automatically. You don't have to worry about pressing that button whenever you want a rear view. Over down here, we also have our drive and terrain modes. So this button, you can switch between drive and terrain and it'll light up in orange, whichever you're in. And then with this toggle, you can actually switch between the four different drive modes, which are eco, normal, sport, and smart. And see how the sides of the clusters actually change colors. Eco would be green, normal, and smart are blue and red is uh, for sport. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then if I press it down again to terrain, we have snow, mud, and sand. That's gonna change your all-wheel drive torque distribution to give you optimal traction in those conditions. So especially right now in Canada, yesterday I was driving our Sportage, which is the key equivalent. Snow mode is very helpful, <laughs> very, very helpful. Our lights turned off, but I think we should still be okay because we have LED interior lighting. Nice. Check that out. <laughs> Pretty smooth, right? Yes. <laughs> While we're up here, let's also pay attention to this beautiful panoramic sunroof. It extends all the way to the back seat. So Mike is fully reclining himself to get that entire view. I'll also open this up. Sorry if it's a little noisy, but it'll stop it around here. Of course, with such a big sunroof, it's not gonna open all the way because we're also gonna be hanging off the back of the car, but you still have a beautiful, beautiful view. You can stretch your arms out, pretend you're in a convertible. It's, it's quite nice. <laughs> we'll close that up and it does have a powered cover. So if you don't want any Glass view, there you go. It closes just like that. Imagine if it was manual and you have to reach all the way into the back or get your passengers <laughs> like, kids, can you bring it halfway? I wanna close this. No, Hyundai makes it easy. <laughs> all your climate controls are right over here and it is dual zone. So I can have my temperature set to, I don't know, 23 degrees for example. And my passenger can have it set higher, lower, or we can just sink it. Let's turn that off though or it's gonna be super noisy. Other than that, I think we should hop into the back and uh, show you what amenities we have back there. I'll turn these lights off. Okay, so I had my seat pretty reclined. This is what we're working with for legroom. So I'm not even wearing heels today. This is my proper height. I have a lot of room. These seats, the seat is a little bit more straight up than um, the reclined ones, and I'm very, very comfy. You have a lot of... Uh, 
thigh length, I would say, so longer legs, you'd be pretty comfortable in this vehicle. Two air vents right over here, so you can toggle them out two separate ways, and then two USBs at the very bottom. Both seats, driver and passenger, have storage pockets in the back, so you could even have your phone plugged in there and kind of have it sitting in here so it's not flying around as you turn. For your doors, I'll probably have Mike show it on his side just because it's easier. You do have a little cup holder that says no drinks, but if you put drinks in there, I won't tell. And then in our center, we have two more cup holders and an armrest. Very, very comfy. But what truly makes the backseat experience here very nice is when the sunroof's open and you can actually get a beautiful look at the sky above you. Cause you know, the driver can't really pay attention to that. Passengers can. You can even recline this a bit more, take a nap and literally wake up to see the sky. You'd probably be confused where you are, but you're comfy. <laughs> All right, let's hop out. I actually just learned that um, these cup holders are for bottles. Oh. So not coffee. So it shows a sign that says no coffee cups. Or, or obviously. Spill. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but bottles are fine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think I learned the hard way one day. All right, let me just turn the car off. And then we'll head back to our computer to answer some questions. And I also want to show you guys the key fob because we got quite a few buttons on here. So beautiful Hyundai key. Lock, unlock your panic button, and this hold button is your remote start. So to access it, I'm gonna do it quickly. You press lock first, press and hold remote start, wait, I believe three, four seconds, starts. And then if you press it again, it'll shut off. So super easy to use. You can also use Blue Link, which is Hyundai's telematic system to start this vehicle. All right. Japan Quake said y'all are slang today. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's the boots. <laughs> it's definitely the boots. Um, I think I, another thing I wanted to point out, or my main purpose of this video, sorry, I completely slipped my mind. So it's very rugged and urban looking on the outside, hence its name, but you hop inside and it's so refined. Yes. Like it's very comfortable, very luxurious. So it's a very, very, the best of both worlds, I guess yeah, you could say. Very fitting for uh, Canada, especially at this time today. <laughs> <laughs> um, love Gabby, bye, whatever happened to Olivia. Wasn't she supposed to be the Hyundai rep? Yes, so um, really busy time at our dealership now. Yes. <laughs> and because she's so involved, obviously, she's one of the, uh, one of the sales associates there. Uh, she's just very busy right now. But uh, we're going to work on a schedule to get her back. Uh, in the meantime, you are stuck with me. Yes. <laughs> Mike does a good job. But yeah, Olivia, I was sales and media for a while before I became full media. It's hard to balance. It was easier for me because I work here. So I could just pop in this video bay whenever I needed to fill. But she's like 10, 15 minutes away. Yeah. And customers are always our number one priority. Yes. Um, so hence the reason why. Um, someday y'all need to do an Autobahn test. Yes. I don't know if I would choose the Tucson as my yeah, as, yeah. as my Autobahn car, but I would love that. Um, let's scroll up a bit to see if we missed any questions. Maybe the uh, Ionic 6 one day. <laughs> yeah, the Ionic 6. The EV6 GT would be awesome. Um, so much great tech here. Why no wireless Apple CarPlay? So we get this question so much. All of our bigger screens for Kia and Hyundai, so the 10 and a quarter inch or above, so 12.3 is also affected. Um, all your driver safety settings are located in the screen. So this is Pat's hypothesis. Um, if anything were to happen, let's say the forward collision avoidance didn't work or any sort of safety related issue, they're scared that if Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is on, it, that couldn't be changed. Yeah. Pat explains it better. I don't know. This is all speculation, but um, there are wireless CarPlay adapters if that is something you would like or if that's a make or break. Me and Pat are actually testing one, um, testing two brands, a cheaper one and a more expensive one, and tomorrow we'll have our video post of what we thought about it. So check that out. <laughs> Self-promo. Um, okay. I see what others mean, though. The screen sets a little low, too low than others. The screen, huh? about the vents being about the screen like that it should be below so field of view is higher. See, I know what you mean when you say it, but when you're in the vehicle. Yes, it, it, I mean, I've, yeah. I've, I mean, looking at it right now, okay, like just by preference, but when I'm driving it, not once of that kind of crossed my mind. I like, I mm -hmm. like it, it where it is. I do like the screen a little lower because then my hand doesn't have to move too far, um, too far up, but uh, it's personal preference too as well. Um, hi, do you think that placing the main headlights below the turn signals is a less pretty design? No, I think, I think the design of this vehicle is stunning. Yeah. I think they killed it. Yeah, I mean, when all the lights are on and 
I mean, even when I'm driving and I see one behind me, right? It's just, it's just a great look. I personally mm -hmm. love the way the lights are integrated in the grill and the way it trails up. It's also easier for everybody else to see, I, I would assume. Hi, Gabby, love your content. <laughs> Thank you. Um, where's the Jellyfish Launcher? So Jellyfish Launcher is exclusive to the Hyundai Santa Fe, or not Santa Fe, Santa Cruz. Oh my goodness, too many Santas. Um, <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus, there we go. Um, yeah, so it's only on the Hyundai Santa Cruz. It's, it's the trailer bed lights for pickup trucks. So any, most pickup trucks would have that button. Yes. Most, whichever ones are equipped with trailer lights or backlights. Does this model come in a hybrid? Not this specific trim level, but the Tucson does come in a hybrid and plug-in hybrid. With those, you'll get it at luxury and, uh, and ultimate too, as well as the higher trim. Ooh, 12 accidents on the 403 when I was driving home. Yes, yeah, so me and uh, Mike, we both take the 403, and as I left yesterday, I left around 3 p.m., there was seven cars in the ditch, and my yes. drive home is only like 25 minutes. Yeah. It was I, very scary. Yeah, I go through four cities, so it was even worse. And this morning, some truck did it, I guess, strapped down their boxes, so there were boxes all over the highway. So very interesting drive-in today. Yeah, it's, it's always an interesting time working here. <laughs> but I did it in a Tucson, so it was fun. Yes. <laughs> I did it in a Forte, so, and honestly, I have to say, I used to have an Optima, which is a bigger vehicle. Um, my Forte handles a lot better in the snow than my Optima. Both have been equipped with winter tires, of course, but I do like the Forte more. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, is the Santa Claus available in red? You know what colors it's available yes, in, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, there's seven colors, and red is one of the colors. This one here is ash black, and Santa Claus also always wears red. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's see, I love the videos. Thank you for watching. We love making the videos. Um, I really do. I really love making these videos. <laughs> Thank you for creating this channel. The lives are so helpful. We're glad you appreciate the lives or that they're helpful. Um, I know sometimes it's we have a, a ball and it's pretty yeah. silly, but we, we try our best to actually belay information as well. <laughs> um, let's see. If I plan to trade in my vehicle next fall, when's the best time to put in my order? It really depends what vehicle you're looking to Yes, because some of our vehicles are way over a year for wait times. Um, some of them could fill between three to four months, so it really depends what you're looking for. Yeah, specifically with the Tucson, yeah. uh, at least with us, it's one of our, if not our best selling SUV, at least mm -hmm. at Brantford Hyundai. So the wait time for this is about three to four months, which is great. Um, I still choose the Kia Sportage over the Tucson. I think it has better styling. So if you've seen my videos probably three, four months ago, I would always, I'm like Sportage, Sportage, Sportage. I still think I like the exterior of the Sportage a bit more, but I like the interior of this one a bit better now. I don't know, it's, it's growing on me. The seats are nice, I, I like oh, the accent. The right seats are there. really nice. Um, my Sorento 2013 has the, or 2013, 2023, has the eight inch display. I love that it's wireless. My wife's Carnival has a 12.3 inch and she has to plug in every time. Yes, yeah, so. I feel like when you're used to the wireless CarPlay, you can't go to wired. Yeah. I've only ever had wired, and the first thing I do when I get in my car, I have it. Before I even start it, is plug in my phone. So I think I'd be fine to, yeah. without it. Yeah, <laughs> personal preference, me, my phone is always on 5% battery. So I like how it forces it. me to plug it yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> um, no offense, but Olivia's easier on the eyes than you, Mike. <laughs> well, you and my wife agree there. <laughs> Are the Tucson hybrids only built in Korea? Yeah, those are Korean-based cars. Yes. Um, okay, just looking for, is there any Tucson questions? Um, this is the best Kia Hyundai channel. Congrats, Gabby, I don't miss the live videos. Thank you for watching them all. I really appreciate it. Literally, sometimes it's I think awesome. about it, I'm like, I can't believe people watch me talk at yeah, work. It's, it's yeah. so weird, but it's, it's exciting, very exciting. Um, cries in 2016 iPhone SE with life support battery and cracked screen. That was me for a long time. <laughs> Good day, mates. Happy Australia Day. Is there a significant price difference between the Tucson and the Sportage? No. And happy Australian Day to you and all Australians that may be watching this. Um, the price difference is usually very, very small. However, trim differences on each model can really vary. So, for example, this vehicle does not have a wireless phone charger. But two steps up from the base on the Sportage does. Yes. So it's it's a little a little tricky. MSRP on this specific one mm -hmm. is forty thousand six hundred and seventy four dollars Canadian. Um, let's see. Okay, I see a, a question about an order, but I just want to go to the original comment. Oh, what is the wait time for a Tucson PHEV if placed in order last summer? 
last summer. <laughs> so it summer depends. Of 22. That depends per dealership, right? Well, like yeah. Based on that also, location. someone made a good point that it wasn't an official order. Yeah. So you would okay. have just given your name and information to the dealership and been in a queue because Kia and Hyundai have both had their order banks closed for months now. Mm -hmm. Um, you previously showed the Sonata Hybrid. Any chance on you reviewing the 2023 Sonata Sport? Do we have any? I look to Mike I'll because to he see, works yeah. at the Hyundai mm. store. <laughs> uh, I'll have to check. I mean, our inventory is just coming in, right? Yeah. So we are trying to hold one of every model, obviously, for test drives. Um, but if we have it, you're going to see it. Yeah. So we'll always try to film what we can get. Especially like right now for Kia, I've been really struggling to come up with ideas of what to film yeah. because we don't have that much inventory at our Kia store. Hyundai store definitely is born. I can tell you we have it, and then tomorrow we don't have it. So, yes. <laughs> uh, look forward to the video because as soon as we have it, I'll make sure it's here that that week. Um, thanks, Alan. So my dealer lied to me, LOL. Well. Um, I, I wouldn't say I, I don't know how they worded it, but um, it's still kind of an order. It's just not an order with the factory, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. So you're, all your information is still in the queue. It's just not submitted to the factory. No one can submit an order right now. Um, I'm sad, too, that the Kia Stinger is, uh, is discontinued. discontinued. Yeah, but we are getting a GT Elite next month, so we'll have some Stinger content before, before she says goodbye. Um, where are the Tucson Canadian gas models manufactured? Why no snow driving video today from Pat? Do you know where the Tucson Canadian gas models are made? I believe it's Korea um, as well. Yeah, I believe it's Korea, but uh, I'll come back to the comments after this. And, or and Alabama, sure maybe? <laughs> Alabama. Why no snow driving video today from Pat? So Pat is our dealer principal. I actually have the boots on yeah. for snow drive video. You know what? Maybe we should do, I think it would be tough with the live, right? And with reception and We can't do a live, yeah. yeah. It definitely won't be a live video. But we owe you guys yes. a snow driving video yes. for sure, maybe on a review. EV6 GT. So we haven't received one yet, but hopefully we get one soon, or maybe we'll see one at the auto show. Thoughts on doing morning live segments once a month on CHCH morning live. Please contact Phil Perkins at CHCH. I don't know, it's not in our district, because we're in Brantford. But, but if we mention you, will you take the we, call? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you feature nighttime driving for the Tucson? I'm interested in buying one, but I've never seen her view saying, but I've seen her view saying the headlight sit is sitting too low. Yeah, we could definitely try to film a, maybe a driving and then an exterior walk around at night with the Tucson. Yeah. I, I think we could do I, that. I can even, I mean, as I commute the cars back and forth, yeah. because I like to drive them. Like a little I can vlog shoot something. Style. Yeah, I could shoot something quick and just kind of show you guys how the lights look. Maybe sure. have somebody in front of me kind of filming that so you can see. Mm -hmm. Alan asked or said, will you be at the Toronto Auto Show in February? Yes. Me, Pat, are you going? Yes. Yeah. Okay, awesome. We're going to be there for VIP night or in media night, I think. Yeah, so, press day or something. Yes. <laughs> Doing donuts on the snow would also be nice. That would be ideal. I don't know if that will happen, at least not on camera, but... You probably won't see me in the next video yes. if it's me doing the donuts. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't be here anymore. <laughs> Um, can you show me the engine bay? Absolutely. Sure. Let me pop that. Do you have the... Uh, yeah, I'll grab the camera. camera. So I believe I mentioned it earlier. Oh, I need the... Uh, oh, the, the key. Tea. Yep. Run over. CHCH covers Brantford area all the time. We're all in the same community. Oh my goodness. Then I have to bring that up to Pat and see if he would like to do that. Do you work for CHCH, Zoran? Gabby, you have the face for TV. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so this is your 2.5 liter. It's an MPI and GDI mix. And what was the, the horsepower? 187 horsepower, 178 pound foot of torque. So same as the Kia Sportage with an eight speed automatic transmission. So very nice. That is your hood though, or that is your engine bay. <laughs> All right. Well, let me close that properly. Okay, try to get the car in there. All right, word of wisdom, do not park forward out because my carnival got hit 14 days old. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, does the giant bear have a name? Yes, his name is very creative, very unique. It's Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> DCT, no DCT in the um, urban trim. Um, bonnet, <laughs> I asked this on a previous stream, hoping Mike might know. No luck finding info online. Is the Palisade wireless charger protected against spills since it's in the open with uh, area with the cup holders. Um, it's got it's got a rim around it too as well. So I mean, f I mean it's protected from spills to an extent. I mean if you spill your whole cup, right? But it does have a bordering 
um, around it, so semi-protected. Mm -hmm. We received no information on if what will happen if water or anything goes on there, mm -hmm. and the only thing I can think of to figure it out is to spill something. Yeah, but... and I'm not doing that <laughs> on my phone, but uh, will it damage the charging area? No, because it's, it's rubber and it's lipped even on the edges too as well. Mm -hmm. uh, will it damage your phone? Depends what kind of case you have. If you have an otter box, no. <laughs> Getting a quote so far, it's close to around $1,000. Oh my goodness. Um, what was Charlotte's baby name? Did I win the $250 Canadian dollars? Um, her baby's name's Geneva. No one guessed it, so I checked the comments and I checked the live feed. The funny thing was when we were done our live, me and her were just chatting, and I knew the baby's name started with a G because I was just like, oh, you named your baby after me, that's so sweet. Um, <laughs> so I was just spitballing names and I said Geneva. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. <laughs> but I, I literally yelled it out, and Pat's office is right there. Pat wanted to know so bad, he still didn't hear it. So, Pat, Beautiful if you're watching name. this. <laughs> Beautiful name, but very interested why that's a name that you would spit out. I, I just knew someone named Geneva. Oh, okay. That makes at sense my, um, then, yeah. I think it was my elementary school, so it was just a name I knew. Um, let's see. Okay. Look for another real question, or we'll look for one. Is it still snowing there? Not at the moment, but I think we are getting more yes, later this week. On the weekend. Gabby, do you like dancing salsa? Sometimes. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, good day. Oh, I answered that one. Love the MacBook stickers. Can I buy some? I don't sell them, but I'm sure you could buy some. Uh, the Tucson was my first ever car. I like the design and impressed how aggressive the design updates have been. Yes. So I remember my aunt had a 2014 Hyundai Tucson and it was, it was a nice SUV, but there's nothing really spicy about the styling. You yeah. know what I mean? It was just an SUV. Now, oh my goodness, especially depending on what trim level you get and what color, they are so beautiful. Yeah. So, so beautiful. When it hits the light, I mean, I've driven in kind of under bridges downtown and against those nice glass buildings and the way mm -hmm. the light hits it and just you know, angles is beautiful. Like, I, I find myself looking at it more than the road. Oh, important question. Do you like eating salsa? Big fan. <laughs> Huge fan. Um, Pat asked, Tucson or Sportage? <laughs> Depends on the trim. I really like this urban trim level, and I like the end line a lot, but I think I would probably go for an EX Premium Sportage. We'll just put a line in the sand and say, I'll go Tucson. <laughs> You'll go Tucson? Okay, there you go. Might as well, Kia, Um, I got the preferred without trend. Is it possible to get LED taillights? I'm sure you could get bulbs. Um, however, you can't order with the dealership or get it from factory with the LEDs unless you go up a trim level. Um, let's be real here, we're all here for Gabby. <laughs> well, at least you're here. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, okay. Let's see. I think that's probably about it for questions today. Um, as always, this, ve this video, this vehicle, will be posted as a regular video, so you can always comment something later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You can yes. even ring our bell for notifications. That way you're notified every time we post. We will be going live again tomorrow for just a live sit-down chat. So that video is entirely dedicated to answering questions. If you have any burning questions for us, please join at 2 p.m. I think Pat will be there, Mike might be there, Yes. but I will be there for sure too. Um, oh, someone said, wait, Gabby, do you have any pets? I have a dog, a big dog. Her name's Zena. But yeah, and you have a dog too, right? Yes, a big dog as well too. What's yeah. his name? Or Charlie. Charlie? Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> he's watching maybe right now. Maybe but... he's watching. <laughs> Zena is definitely not watching, but love you, Zena. Okay, guys, have a good rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow.